Wow, this is awesome. This is my first time being at this event, and this is uh, definitely exceeds what I, I expected. And but I expected it to be really good, but this is great. Uh, everybody up here talking about this and uh, getting to meet more people, and uh, I want to thank y'all for having me tonight um, and to to celebrate uh, the 35 years uh, of ALS and the Phillies as being teammates and uh, for. For the people who know me, ALS holds a special place in my heart. Uh, uh, my uncle, he, he's been battling ALS for uh, the past several years, and uh, he just got in a wheelchair this year. So when I had went to the uh, Phillies Festival my first year in 2016, I got to meet a lot of people, uh, a lot of ALS patients. It really kind of put things into perspective. Uh, it kind of got me more involved in the ALS community um, doing more stuff uh, with the Phillies with it and uh, kind of looking into it more. And actually, I saw my uncle yesterday, too, so that's it was perfect timing uh, right before I came up here. Um, but like I said, meeting a lot of the ALS patients through the Phillies at these events, uh, it's one of my favorite, uh, favorite deals to go to, favorite organizations to, to, to ever go to. Uh, I meet, meet a lot of people like Gary and Chuck. Uh, Chuck came and talked to us, as y'all saw on the video board uh, this past year. And man, it was it was pretty inspiring. And um, it kind of when when he almost stumbled right there, kind of my heart kind of dropped, honestly, Chuck. But uh, he's a great guy. I actually met him uh, this past year. I live in the same apartment building as he did, and I got off the elevator. Uh, one morning when I was heading to go eat breakfast and uh, he introduced himself, him and his wife Stacy, and uh, he was kind of talked about the season and um, told me I was doing doing well. He liked watching me and it was kind of up and down year for me and he told me that I was trying too hard. And uh, I didn't, I was like, all right. I was like, I just met him, but okay. Uh, so I sat, I went, went to breakfast and sat down and I kind of thought about it, and uh, I was like, maybe I am kind of trying too hard. You know, I'm trying to to push the results on myself, uh, trying to uh, think about the results too much where I can't control the results. And uh, so, you know, Chuck and Stacy, they've been super, super genuine, super sweet to, to me. And, um, you know, Chuck that day kind of put everything in perspective and, I think that's when I kind of started to uh, to turn things around a little bit this past year and not think about the results and uh, because there's bigger things in baseball. You know, it's it's not a have to, if I don't strike this guy out, you know, my, my career is done. Uh, it puts things in perspective to see the ALS patients, um, their positivity and their attitude day in and day out. I see it with my Uncle Alan and... Uh, my Aunt Maureen, how she takes care of him every morning, every night, throughout the days, and uh, how our family supports him. and um, So it makes me run through life a little bit different, differently and taking each day, day by day, and uh, it with a positive attitude. So I just want to thank, thank the Phillies and thank everybody for having me tonight, and uh, thank you very much.